Hi. Now in this video what I want to do is introduce you to what is often called the T formula where T equals tan of half of theta, theta over 2. And we can express these trigonometric formulae and others as I'll show you later in terms of t. Tan theta equaling 2t over 1 minus t squared, sine theta equaling 2t over 1 plus t squared and cosine theta equaling 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared. And these formula are very useful as an alternative way of solving trig equations as I'll be showing you in the next video. But for now I'll show you how we prove these trigonometric results. You need to know the trigonometric identity, you should be familiar with this already, the double angle one for the tan of 2a. Remember it's identical to 2 tan a all divided by 1 minus tan squared a. Now if we let a equal theta upon 2 then 2a would clearly be theta. So we'd have tan theta is equal to 2 tan theta upon 2 for 2 tan a and because it was all over 1 minus tan squared a it would be now 1 minus tan squared theta upon 2. And if I substitute for t for tan theta upon 2 we end up with 2t all over 1 minus t squared. And so with this result we can take a triangle, a right angle triangle with theta in it. And because tan of the angle theta is opposite over the adjacent then I can say that this side is 2t and this side is 1 minus t squared. And I'm going to get the hypotenuse here x. We can work that out obviously by using Pythagoras' theorem. And if we use that we know that the hypotenuse squared is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two shorter sides. So that's all of 2t squared plus 1 minus t squared all squared. And if we work this out this comes to 4t squared plus and then if we expand the bracket 1 minus 2t squared plus t to the power 4. And grouping this up we've got 1 plus 2t squared plus t to the power 4. And this factorizes to all of 1 plus t squared all squared. So when it comes to working out x just need to square root both sides and we end up with x equals. Now it won't be plus or minus we want the positive value because we're looking at a length here. So it's just going to be 1 plus t squared. OK so if I was to draw that triangle out again and we'll put that side in we're going to have this side then as 1 plus t squared, the hypotenuse. So can you see now that sine theta is the opposite over the hypotenuse, so that's going to be 2t over 1 plus t squared and cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, that's 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared. And we can take this further, we can get other trigonometric ratios like for instance cot theta which is 1 over tan theta so it just means inverting this fraction 1 minus t squared then over 2t and if we look at cosec theta that's the reciprocal of sine theta so we just invert the fraction and we've got cosec theta is 1 plus t squared over 2t and to complete this we've got sec theta which is the reciprocal of cosine theta and that gives us 1 plus t squared over 1 minus t squared. OK so I hope that gives you an idea how we go about proving these particular trigonometric ratios in terms of t. So I hope you like this video so thanks for watching and hopefully you'll check out the next video in this series.